What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Celia's Network for week 10 or 11. I think it's 10 of the Omnipoke Online Play League. Uh, this week I'm playing against Aurabomb, great YouTuber. Definitely go check him out if you are not already subscribed to him, but you should be. Um, this week I am playing Donphan, Luke Metal, and Lightning Mew 3 as my three decks. I think I'm going to lead with Donphan. I actually think it has a lot of potential. Um, and it's great in this kind of like blind best of one thing when there's a lot of decks that either have a problem against single prizers or have a problem against uh, fighting decks because they're fighting weak. Uh, so before we get into these games, shout out to PotownStore.com, the best place for you to get PTCGO codes and be sure to use code CELIO for 5% off. We're going to go ahead and send Aurabomb a challenge. Little does he know Donphan is waiting on the other side of it. So let me know in the comments down below before you uh, see the game how you think Don Fan is going to do. Is is it a mistake bringing Don Fan to a semi-competitive thing, or uh, are we gonna pull out the Dubski here? Or a bomb flashing the nice Milotic deck box there. So we don't want to see Luke Metal. We don't want to see ADPZ. Anything else? I will take my chances against with the old Don Fan. We have lost the coin flip. And my opponent is choosing to go first. Okay, my opponent had no basic Pokemon. That's a solid start. We're going to find out how bad this is going to be for us. Here we go. Let's see the mulligan draw. Oh, no, it's Luke Metal. Okay, we're probably not winning this one. That's that's probably going to be a loss for the game one. But we took the chance with Don Fan. Sometimes it just goes like that. He probably did not expect to see a spirit tomb. I guarantee he thinks this is Eternatus. You don't see a spirit tomb and think, oh, they're playing Don Fan, obviously. Pretty good start from Aura Bomb there. Let's go ahead and use Great Ball. Hmm, no, no Fampy. It's okay. Grab Jirach. Pokecom away, uh, Dedene. Get a Fampy. We'll play out the Dojo, Attach, and Marnie. All right, do I want to play Crobat down? I'd prefer not to. I probably just want to build Spite and pass. We could put Jirachi down. Mm. We'll build Spite and pass, I think. I'd like to get more Fampies, but uh, yeah, we'll just do this. Let's try to play uh, the least amount of multiple prize Pokemon as possible. Unless, of course, I get to the point where I have to play them down. <sighs> I am playing Buzzmosa, so... Buzzmosa is a multiple prize Pokemon I would like to not play down until it's absolutely necessary. Um, and they're also resistant to Buzzmosa, or at least Zacian is resistant to Buzzmosa by... Uh, by 30. So I'll have to get Zacian into uh, 20 damage range. Hmm, great catcher. Great catcher, eh? Hmm. I played Tina, so I could bring that up, get rid of an energy, but how annoying is that really? They might honestly want that active so they can use full metal wall and start reducing damage. So I think I'm just going to Marnie here. 
Yeah, I'm just going to Marnie here. All right, this isn't bad. We're going to swing 120 into this. And this goes up to 30. So if I swing 120 and they just kill it. I'll be able to swing 120 at this. But not if they put down Metal Goggle. This The question here is, do I want to build Spike? I think the answer is yes. Mm, maybe not, because I did just get rid of an Aurora Energy. So yeah, maybe I don't build spite here. We'll just earthquake. Of course, building spite being a question because earthquake does damage to my own bench. And yeah, there's the goggles. Yep, so now I cannot get a knockout here, I believe. Yeah, I can't get a knockout here because of the goggles. I could have ever put them into range of a Buzzmosa knockout. Let's go ahead and see um, how many Aurora energy we have. It sucks that I had to use one to, to retreat. We have two in the deck. So I think, yeah, we're going to Crobat here. Hmm. Even more boss. I was mistaken. This would def this would knock it out. Yeah, so if we get an Aurora, that will knock it out. Oh, wow. Okay, so it looks like we should dump our hand here and just try to get the knockout. That's probably smart. So we're going to Denny, and we also haven't played a supporter. Let me just do my math one more time. Yeah, I'll be doing 130 minus 30, so I actually hit 10 more than I need to. If I get Aurora and Switch. Would you looky there? Would you just look at it? And I didn't even have to use my uh, my supporter for turn. I don't want to though, because of martial arts dojo. We're just gonna do this. It's been a long time since I was moving the spite. So we take that knockout on the Zashin. Now the goal is going to be 
to somehow not get rid of this Aurora. Oh wait, so we did we just take this Aurora off the prizes? Crap. Oh, I really have to think. Yes, we did, because I did not have two Auroras in my hand. That's fine. Okay, they're shuffling it back in anyway. So we want to set this up for a two-shot and then Buzzmosa it. And they have not full metal walled yet. So that's good. Send this up. We do not want to get rid of our hand. So we have to Marnie. Looking for Fighting Energy Dawn fan and a switch out. Well, we got most of it. We really got most of what I just asked for. Let's Great Ball. Let's grab another Dawn fan. That's good. The one thing I still want to add to this deck is a memory uh, capsule to use Strike Back. There we go. Shake and Bake. We'll grab a switch. Now I can do 120 and then put this down. Yeah, we'll just do this while we can. Because once they get a metal goggle, we cannot do it anymore. So we'll do this. Then the question becomes, do they want a full metal wall to reduce damage, or do they want to uh, kill the Dawn fan? So, I'll, uh, I'll admit, I actually did not test this matchup, since I haven't had a bunch of spare time to do some testing with Dawn Fan Tomb, although it is a deck that I do like a lot. Um, it's kind of just been my fun deck that I've been playing whenever I have a, a like time for a game or two, but I haven't like put actual time into this matchup, and I just theorized that it would be bad. Um, my opponent isn't getting like the perfect draws, like they didn't have a goggle there, um, and also swell would hurt me more. Uh, it, swell would hurt my deck more than power plant does as well, so that's also something to keep in mind. A possible play there would have been to uh, retreat to the doll as well. I think I'll just send this up. The question is, do I want to leave them with 10 HP? So I could potentially win with Osmosa. Now, if I can knock them out, I knock them out. I just have to get a Spear Tomb to my bench. Yeah, I need to get a Spear Tomb to my bench. No Spear Tomb, but I have... <sighs> Damn, this would have been a really good setup to not have done that Zigzagoon and leave it for the Buzzmosa kill. Oh well. Because I can only Dawn fan so many times before I kill my bench. Damn. I really should have not done that Zigzagoon. But I need Spear Tomb. Taking this knockout is actually bad for me. I hate that. I don't bench that. Because I'm not expecting them to knock out my Don Finn here. There's Spear Tomb. Really good.
we have one boss in the deck hopefully we don't get stamped here I would definitely prefer to not be stamped Marnie, okay. Stamp, uh, stamp's worse than Marnie, but I would have liked to keep the hand. There's another spear tube in the deck, so hopefully we can hit that, and we do. There's the boss that I need. Place that pass. Mm. He probably has boss. Lily's polka doll, eh? Is the boss a coming? Okay, no boss, but he needs a boss to finish up the game. This is gonna be close. Okay, I think I keep my boss in hand. I need to keep my boss. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Ah, he probably has game here. That was a good one. That was so close. Good game. Damn, that was close. Ah, oh, gosh, flab it. All right, we lose a close game one. Uh, we're coming back with uh, Lightning Mew 3 this game. Lost a close game one. I. Don't mind losing there because that was such a good game and uh, that's some great content for you guys to see as well. So that was a good one. Let me know if y'all thought that Don Fan versus Luke Metal was going to be that close. I want the coin flip. Mm, weird start. <laughs> oh no, is he playing ADPZ? He's saying some things that sound like ADPZ. No, he's not. <laughs> he said he hopes this experience is joyful. Oh, it's Dragapult. Are you kidding me? I queued Mewtwo into Dragapult. What are the flipping odds? 
I should just dump this hand, right? Yeah, I should definitely just dump this hand. Try to get a bolt on. The one Pokemon with three retreat in the deck, and that's what's in my active. Oh, I hate Vika Volt. I hate Vika Volt so much. <sighs> Darn you, Vika Volt. I'm gonna lose because of Vika Volt. Vika Volt just couldn't shed off those couple extra pounds to be a two retreat cost Pokemon. All right, this is good. They evolved Dragapult and pass. This is okay. I guess we're doing this. Put them there. I wonder if we can make amazing rare summons to work in this matchup. Oh, he's got the quick ball. We're off to the races. Draga, another quick ball, getting the crobe. Crobe prized. Getting rock rough, okay. And then Marnie, I didn't even realize he had not played a supporter yet. He played the Dene, not a supporter. He did attach energy though, so we're hoping for no retreat option, but I think it's likely for him to find one. Yep, there's the air balloon and swing. Where does the five go? All right. I believe this is the move. Now the question here is do I swing 190 with Vika or do I swing one, two, three, four, 
five, six, 190 with Bolt Tund. I deny them a prize this way unless they have Gust and I make them use the Gust. The original idea was to use Bolt Tund. But the more I look at it, this looks kind of good. I'd rather have Lightning, I think, right now. It doesn't matter, I'll just draw the other next turn. They could get rid of this energy, but if they do, I... One, two, three, I would do a hundred, and that won't get the knockout. Mmm. Yeah, they could remove an energy, and then I am not in a good place. We're gonna end up swinging with Bolton. I'm glad I thought about that. They just wanted to get the Lycan Rock down as an attacking option, I believe. So this should be knock out the Jirachi. Yeah. We'll send up Vika, take the knockout. Stamp to three. Is there a reason to do that, eh? I don't want to get rid of two energy. That doesn't sound good. Okay, we'll super zap cannon. Go. Oh, crushing hammer could be huge. I completely forgot about hammers. Whew. I completely forgot about hammers. I'm only down one switch. Hmm. I think my stamp did it to him. That's what it's looking like. Looking like the stamp did the trick. And there's an Aurora energy. Oh, three hammers. Oh my goodness. That's the worst. You didn't get any heads. Wait, not swinging with splintered shards? Oh, he wants to wait until he can win the game with splintered shards. That, that makes sense. That does make sense. Also, the triple tail sucks. He hasn't used a single switch. Well, I'll be. I'm 
How many boss am I down? Zero? Okay, we're doing this. No boss. Beautiful. That's not good. My plan was boss up the Dragapult and hit it with Paralyzing Bolt. And then... Uh, they swing and then Tandem Shock. Or they can't swing and then I Tandem Shock. Um, the other plan was attach to Raichu Raichu and then... You know, Gust Paralyze. But neither of them are going to do anything. So... Paralyzing bolt or nothing. I probably paralyzing bolt. Yeah, this that was an unfortunate then AGX there. An unfortunate dead I change. Ugh. Great googly moogly. Attached to the Draga, so that means he doesn't have Oh no wait. Gust on this doesn't work unless he has crushing hammer. Oh it's all making the sense. Okay, I think I give him this. Unfortunately, I'm out of stamp. So do I give him this? He hits that, but then he's just a zigzagoon away from winning, so it has to be this. Ugh, I'm one energy away from being able to attack with the Zamster. Marnie, no! I have energy and switch in my hand. Oh, I don't need the switch. Does he not play switch? Is that, is that what's up? There's the boss that I wanted. And I've used both stamps. We are depleted of stamps. <sighs> Anything I put up, they can knock out with splintered shards. My, I had Switch, and now I don't have Switch, so... I need to hit a Switch. It's a Tandem Shock. That's my chance. Cherish Ball. Not good. <clears throat> I think that's the game. I can do 190 to that, but that will not to take the knockout. I can't retreat. Ay ay ay. I think uh this and bolt is the only thing I can do. They've got to have energy though, so that's probably game. <laughs> Very good games. Like I said, make sure you go check out Arabom if you're not already following him on YouTube. And shout out PotownStore.com. I lost O2 there, but they were very good games. Donphan versus Luck Metal and Lightning Mewtwo versus Dragapult Lycan Rock. Really, really great games. Um, showing some of the spice that is still around in the standard format. And those games were pretty skill intensive as well. So I'm really happy whenever that happens. Um, we did not bring ADPZ there. Um, and ADPZ, if I did bring it, like, just saying, like, oh, let's bring the statistical best deck in format, 50-50 or so versus Look Metal, and 
I'm not really even sure what the matchup is against Dragapult Lycanroc, so... Um, but I'm happy with the decks I brought. Would have been better to queue up Luke Metal there on the uh, the second game, but I couldn't have known he was bringing Dragapult. I had no guesses. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already for daily Pokemon TCG content. Leave a like and a comment for the algorithm. Check out PotownStore.com. Use code Celio for 5% off. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.